Hello, it's Nancy today. I found this really nice girl and she's selling soap and all kinds of stuff like that and she's telling about chemicals that aren't good for you. <clears throat> what was it you were saying about your soap? I make my shampoo in a bar because we don't use any chemicals in our cosmetics. Um, when you find uh, products that are in liquid form, they are usually chemical based, whether it's sodium oral sulfite, propylene glycol, or formaldehyde, which has made everything in liquid form like body washes, shampoos, conditioners, lotions, creams, even lip balms. They are putting special chemicals in lip balms to make your lips dry so that you are constantly needing to reapply. You all are long. kidding. And that's not just with lip balm. That's awful. If you can find a natural lip balm that doesn't have chemicals in them, you will notice your lips stay hydrated longer and you don't need to apply as much. Now, um, in, in the other bars of soap, like when you buy a bar of soap at the store, mm -hmm. or, um, do they have chemicals in them that are yes. like some sodium lauryl sulfate? Yes. Those, chem those products are, have chemicals and preservatives to keep them on the shelf for years and years. Plus, it's cheaper for them to use these chemicals and then they can sell them cheaper. With my products, they last longer because, well, you try to keep it out of water. Um, but I don't use any sodium oral sulfate or propylene glycol, which is actually what makes the soap or shampoo go more quickly. And then it makes you need to use it more, which means you, makes you need to wash more. Makes your hair dull, makes your hair dry, limp, keeps our skin not from being high hydrated um, and also the fact that the chemicals really is what they're putting in them is what makes our skin so dry. You've done a lot of research haven't you? Yes. Very good. What's your, um, do you have a website? Yes I do. www.earthtobody.ca that's e-a-r-t-h-t-o-b-o-d-y.ca. You're so photogenic. Do you have a card? Yes I do. I'm based out of Montreal. This is my home where all of the products are made. I have a toll-free phone number and a website. You can shop online. And there's also a store in Ottawa down here that carries my line. Okay, so your website, did you just tell me that? Yeah, it's right here. That's a, that's your email address? And my website's oh, right Oh, natural.ca? Yeah. Okay, that's all? Natural.ca? Yeah. Is it got www? Yeah. Okay, www. <clears throat> you got that, everybody? <laughs> www.natural.ca. She's smart. This girl knows stuff. I think she's good. Okay, so what have you got? Um, actually, I import my oils from all over the world. Uh, the reason I do that is because I fair trade, and it, being that they're from the countries where they originate, they don't add anything to it. A lot of the North American products today are chemical-based, preserved, or stretched, so that they can get more out of it. Um, I pay more for my oils, which makes my products a little bit more expensive, but they last longer and actually keep your skin hydrated. So what kind of oil do you use? I use emu oil from Australia, argan oil from Morocco, manuka oil from New Zealand, dead sea salts from Israel, the Manitou salts from the Manitou Lake in Saskatchewan, neem oil from India, and I also use a lot of the other Canadian oils like Canadian black spruce, I use patchouli, I use um, lavender from a farm in Niagara, and I also use rose water from a farm in Niagara. So some of those are essential oils? Yes. And the others are the oils that are the bases? The base oils, yes. Wow, and you, you know different people in all those countries? Yes. Really? Yes. So you don't get them from a supplier in Canada? No, I either go straight to the farm or I get it from the Berber women that actually work with the, the trees and the plants and then Boy, I go through them. You are so smart. It's actually my mother and my father who started the business, but I work for them full time and I love what I do. How fun. <laughs> it's fun to love what you do, isn't it? Okay, we got to look at these soap bars now. This is the shampoo bar. Okay, so we need to smell it. Mmm, that smells good. 4.5 ounce. So she has the shampoo bar and the ESP, Extraordinary Soap Performance. It's English and French. And I don't know if she's got other soaps here. Is this soap down here? It's an exfoliating soap. And this is made with... Oh, it's too tiny. I can't read it. But this is the one you're supposed to smell. It doesn't really smell. But it looks like it's got oatmeal in it. I listen to the mom.
Are you happy shoppers? We are very happy. Oh, wonderful. Never leave a natural soap. Never leave a natural soap. Organic oatmeal. You um, know how they have tear free shampoos for babies? They're actually the most chemical based products in the world. So they're putting these, these chemicals in baby products so that they're tear free, but they're causing a lot more problems than, than just the regular. It's okay, you're not on this. Thank no, you just... very much, guys. If there's any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call. Well, I'm from New Brunswick, so. Well, we have a guarantee on everything. 100% money back guarantee. And if ever you use a product that has emu oil or neem oil in it, which is what this soap has both, it can actually bring toxins to the surface. It's normal. It's a very good sign. It just means it's cleaning up your skin. So within 24 to 48 hours. <laughs> now it's rhetorical. So it, but it doesn't mean that that'll happen to everybody. It just uh, means that it can happen. So be, be aware. Of it. Be prepared. And it just means that your skin's cleaning out. A lot of the products that they have for acne are alcohol based which will strip your skin of their natural oils which might take away the acne but it'll come right back whereas with anything natural they'll suck everything to the surface that's a very very good thing okay would you recommend for shampoo child um, any of my soaps are good for child however I've got a baby package yeah my castile soap is the best it's just olive oil it is like butter on your skin regular olive oil. The other soaps that I have, I use emu, calendula, lavender, citronella. For babies, I always suggest the purest of all pures, which is the olive oil base. Any, any child, any child under the age of six or seven, I always That's suggest. That's us. <laughs> um, I, I charge five dollars for that. I have five dollars in my crystal for the money. Not bad, not you? bad. She's good, no, eh? Okay, this is the Earth to Body Skin Care Product. Okay, needs today. I'm going to go around more of this cash show. Bye.